Hello, in this video I will explain how high beam assist really works on all Nissan cars and even other brands. I will be showing real world scenarios, but before I start, leave a like and subscribe. High beam assist is part of Nissan Safety Shield and what it does, it automatically switches from low to high beam to improve visibility ahead without blinding incoming cars. The camera in the windshield monitors the low light conditions and other cars around. According to Nissan, high beam assist helps to detect pedestrians and it makes sense because the more light, the better the sensors will work. To enable high beam assist, switch to auto mode and push the lever as if turning the high beams. Nothing is perfect, so let's find out the car's strengths and weaknesses. Here you can see the high beam assist takes too long to activate even though the street is already dark. But the car is very good at detecting incoming cars. Here high beam assist turns off for the cars crossing in front. Here there are street lights in both sides of the street and high beam assist doesn't work. And here there are street lights in the right side only and high beam assist turns on but shuts down after entering a dark road. Perhaps it detected an incoming car off into the distance. So whenever street lights are present, high beam assist may or may not work. High beam assist remained off during this road and maybe because it detected incoming cars in front. High beam assist will not work in well lit highways because it's not necessary. High beam assist will not work when leading cars are present and this is to avoid blinding their mirrors but once those cars are far away high beam assist will switch back on. The car is very good at detecting light, here the high beam turns off at an intersection because it's well lit, but turns back on immediately when sensing low light again. High beam assist only works in speeds above 20 miles an hour, and here the high beam turns on after passing those trucks. So the strengths in this car are very low light streets and detecting nearby cars. It's actually very good at detecting other cars even if they are far away. For example, here the light comes on when there are no cars but switches to low beam when it senses another car. It has very good cameras and sensors. And that's pretty much what high beam assist is. It switches from low beam to high beam and vice versa. The key is how good is the system to know when to do it and when not to do it.
that's it for this video like and subscribe